Father, I pray that you do what you do best. I pray that you minister to every man through this room and touch every heart and t touch everyone through this sermon, man and woman. Lord God, I know what I have to say is kind of strange for a woman to say, but Lord, you put this on my heart so strongly. Do with me, do with me what you will, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hi, YouTube. I, I was just thinking um, about the state of men and how that actually works and something occurred to me but before but before I share what occurred to me I'm actually gonna going to read myself I'm not gonna have the computer read it um, from the Gospels um, I'm going to read first um, Matthew 8 verse 20 and it says Jesus okay it said and Jesus saith unto him foxes have holes and birds and birds of the air have nests but the son of man hath Ha, has not where to lay his head and I'm going to read from from Luke 9 verse 58 it's the same passage but it reads a bit differently it says and Jesus said unto him foxes have holes and and birds of the air have nests but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. Um, just thinking about this in the state of men um, in the world today and how males in our society seem to have very little or no direction or um, some of them are leaving their families and don't know how to cope and like just just the huge call for men and I've heard I've heard many servants which they're true in that men need to take the rightful place and start being fathers and husbands and all of that and all of that is very true and if you're deliberately being disobedient as a man and not taking your place in the home that's very wrong you need to repent and you need to take your rightful place in the home but at the same time um, we are living in a society of women who say I can take care of myself I don't need a man and and um, w women who say uh, we don't we don't we don't need a man and at the other hand on the other hand, you have um, people people where all the responsibility of the home and the and the um, finances and everything all the all of that responsibility is on the man. Not only their their home and work responsibilities, but their um, but their marriage responsibilities and their other responsibilities and I was and I was thinking that part of the reason uh, why men some men don't know how to be good husbands and don't know how to be good fathers is that some men and some women but I'm talking about men today have nowhere to go like like you come home and your wife is griping at you about not spending enough time with the kids and not um not listening to her and not being there for her um 
your friends are telling you, oh my gosh, you're spending too much time with your wife, you need to go out with the boys, your pastor's telling you to be submitted to God, and you need to do this as a man of God in your house. And I was, I was thinking, my gosh, that's a lot of work and a lot of um, things that men are required to do. And some women too, but I'm I'm mostly talking to the men today, and I think as men sometimes they don't know like you've got so much stuff pulling at you from here and here. Your wife wants you to spend more time with her or the kids. Your your boss wants you to spend more time at work because you're not pulling your weight there. Your friends want you to spend more time with them and plus you have to spend time in prayer uh, for direction for God for your house. And sometimes I, I'm, I'm understanding now going through what I'm going through in my own life. Sometimes for men it's just too much. Sometimes it's just too much responsibility. So sometimes, as women, I think how the women can assist the man is just let him know that no matter what happens, he has you to talk to. And he, get, he has you to confide in because I heard um, someone say something so sad. He's like, he's like, everyone's pulling on me. I feel pulled in ten different directions, and um, my wife wants this, my kids want this, um, my pastor says I should do this as a man, and um, I still have to make time for my prayer time. And he said, you know, he didn't say this, but I could say. I can tell this, he said, he's like, where do I go when I need, when I need to just rest and when I need to just ch chill, not just chill to watch the sports game, because you can do that as well, but where do I need, where do I go when, when my heart is broken, if, if I need to be strong for my wife, when do I get to break down and cry? T.D. Jake said something amazing. He said one time uh, he and his wife were going going through an issue and um, she was crying and he was comforting. But when he was comforting her, um, he wanted to break down and cry too. So. He was like, when do I get to break down and cry and have somebody hold me and hug me? I think we expect, as a society, men to be always tough and always strong and always, and always like the protector, the provider and all that stuff. And yes, he should be, but as women, we just need to understand that sometimes men just need a place to be, to be, to feel free to be insecure, to voice their real feelings, to voice their real opinions. And you say, I try to talk to my husband, I try to talk to my boyfriend, but he's not talking to me. What do I do? See, men, like, what I've found out and understood about men, Men don't talk like women. You can, a woman will just, just talk, this is what's going on with me or whatever. But it's really hard for a man to do that. So when you're, when a woman says, okay, we need to talk about this, um, and, and your husband's not responding to you, and he's not saying anything, and you're like, what's wrong with you? Don't you care about this? Of course he cares about this, but men are internal. They're not like women. They don't talk like we do. 
they don't express like we do. So what I would say to a woman that wants to get her husband to talk, be patient with him. And when he starts to talk, listen to him. Don't try and, you know, we like to fix things and whatever. We like to talk around things. We like to get them to talk like us. But men are not women. They don't, they don't generally share feelings easily or talk like us or whatever. So when he's talking to you, make sure he knows that whatever he says to you doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go to your friends, doesn't go any, anywhere. And make sure he feels safe to be who he is around you. I think some men d feel, feel really scared to be who they are, even around their wife, because who they are is not like, you know, the, um, is not like, they have some issues with being the protector. They have some issues with being a good father. They have some issues and they're afraid to let that show because they're afraid that the woman will judge them. But what we have to do, I believe, as women is just be there. And like, if, and like, if he feels safe enough, he'll come to you. Most men, it takes them time to to digest things. It takes them time to um, think about things. It takes them time to um, to um, figure out things. So don't don't get all mad at your husband when he's not responding to you and and like make sure that that when when he's talking to you you're really listening to what um he wants as as much as you want him to listen to you and he should you need to also listen to him because there's a cry from the male species i feel it where, where they just want, want to be, feel free to be themselves. There are so many men out there that are struggling and are hurting and are doing all that because they have nowhere to go. Like, like they don't feel comfortable like in, well, some men's meetings they do. But some men just don't feel comfortable going to a men's meeting. We love going to women's meetings. We love sitting and chatting. But men are not like that. They're slower to actually... They're slower to actually emote their feelings and what, what they... What, what they um, feel like. Because they're just slower because they're not they're not programmed to say it's okay to cry and show your feelings so so wait for i would say to any woman wait for him to come to you and make sure make sure he feels safe in coming to you Make sure whatever your husband tells you, or whatever your man tells you, whatever that man you, your life tells you, it stays with with you too. It doesn't go anywhere else because there's nothing worse than you tell somebody something and, and then it's on the phone to your friends. And I think that's what some men are afraid of. Some men are afraid of if if I show her that I'm weak in this area, will she use it against me? And he needs to know whatever you say in the privacy of your bedroom or to each other, you won't use it against him. He needs to feel safe in that. And, I, and you as a woman need to just know that when you talk to him 
he's listening all, most most of the time he's listening but he may not respond like you want him to because he's just not made that way to, to discuss feelings and all that they're just not made that way and I think we need to keep in mind as women that they men also need a soft place to fall they, they need to be held and they need to be comforted and they need encouragement it's not only us that need the encouragement or to t to be told oh we're doing a good job or, or honey you look good today we like it's not only us that need that they need that as well and they're not the kind of people to tell you um look i need to be held i need to be hugged hugged but they'll show it in other ways by withdrawing from you and you're you're wondering i'm talking but he's not listening maybe that's a way of saying I need something you're, you're not giving me and unfortunately for some men that can that can um, spark affairs because if a woman is listening to them paying them attention or whatever a connection could be formed there and that's it so I think as, as women, whether we're girlfriends or whether we're wives, whether we're sisters, we just need, it just, it just needs to be a more mutual thing. Just like, just like you need to be held, sometimes he needs to be held. Just like you need to hear that you're doing a good job. He needs to hear that you're doing a good job. And one more thing. Um, sometimes a man, see, the thing with men is, is you don't say I love you with flowers and all that like you do with women, like with flowers and stuff and you say I love you by respecting him there is nothing a man likes more when you're in front of um, company and you say you know what so-and-so did today and you you boast about something he did that is the same thing about saying saying I love you I care about you and that's how you can show, to say I love you to a man. I feel so, I have such a heart for the male species because we have all these, um, we have all these like women's groups and all these rights for women and rights for this. So much so that we're kicking the male species out. So to me, it's not that the fact, sometimes it is, but most of the time it's not the fact that they won't, that they um, won't take the place, won't take their place as men as, as head of the families or whatever. It's sometimes the fact that they don't know how or we won't give them room as women to do so because we can do it all ourselves. Um, because they're designed as protectors and providers by God, if, if we're now saying no, we can protect and provide for ourselves, they feel like there's no place for them in society. And I want to say to every man out there, there, there definitely is a place for you, a very significant place for you. And I think that um, for men, they need to know that no matter what, no matter what, what, what is going on, no matter uh, what hell they're facing in their life, 
they need to know that there is someone there in the cor in their corner that will listen to them, that will support them, that will say, Honey, I'm behind you 100%. Go for it. And I think sometimes when a man doesn't have that, he feels like he's burdened and he's alone. And um, I think that's a very dangerous place for a man to be. Um, it is so sad when T. When T. Jake said, a man can play with his kids and feel alone. A man can make love to his wife and feel alone. A man can go to work and feel alone. Because that's all practical autopilot stuff. I think as women, we need to be there for men, not, all, not, all, not only for the physical sense, for sex, for sexual things, but we need to be there just as a comfort. We, we, we need to say, "Baby, I'm here for you," and he'll talk when he's ready. He'll talk when he's ready, and I think we as women need to understand that men are different than we are. But. They feel the same things, but they manifest it differently. And I think that's what men and women need to start talking about. The differences so we, so we can communicate together. I think sometimes we don't know how to communicate as men and women. And I think that's where problems start. Anyway, YouTube. I'll see you later. Bye.